it's got eight. There he is. The yellow jack. Far from being a trash fish. How good does that look right there, guys? Got my crab declawed. Let's go look for these things. So what I'm doing is I'm walking up and down the bridge. It's incoming tide. So the tide's coming from the ocean to the Gulf side. That's the Atlantic over there. The Gulf is behind me. And these permit are just cruising up and down this reef and this flat. Some of them have their nose into the current, just chilling there, but the majority of them are moving. And they're moving in pretty good sized schools. They're moving in fish of like um, anywhere from three to 15 fish, you know? And I uh, have my crab in the water because I want to keep him alive as possible. We were getting him on dead crabs yesterday, but they definitely were reacting to the live crabs a little bit better, I'd say. Oh no, there's a big school of fish right there. There's probably 10 fish in this school right here. And they're all just coming up top. They're looking through all that seaweed, seeing if they're, they can find any shrimp in there, crabs in there. And that's what they do. They just kind of roam the flats around looking for stuff. And then they think that the crab that we're putting in front of their face is just naturally flowing with the current. Oh, I had a couple look at it. Oh, I just got eight. I just got eight. I just got eight again. Crushed. There he is. There he is. Chris, Chris, net, 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 net. Net, 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 net. No. Go, go, get it, get it, get it, get it. Quick. It's like you think you have them straight up and down. They did. Tell, tell, like, tell them. These fish are so goddamn powerful. That was probably a 10, 15 pounder. Had his head up out of the water. Didn't pull any drag. As soon as he gets any little bit of momentum, you're wrecked. It's not like a snook. No. Get their head out. They're not done. And feel <laughs> this. I'm not, I'm not fishing light drag. Yeah. Holy crap, dude. They just get sideways in that current. What? Yeah, and that's the problem is, so we're fishing an incoming tide. So the water's going from there to here. And as we get them straight up and down, they're just slowly getting pushed under the bridge. And the problem is if we fish under this bridge, we got that piling to worry about and that piling to worry about. And we've both lost fish to that piling yesterday. And I know I've been saying it in every video and I'm not trying to shove it down your guys' throats, but t-shirts are for sale. So if you guys want to represent the Land Shark Nation, you guys want to get a t-shirt because I know they, a lot of people have asked for them. They are finally on sale. Landsharknation.com is the website. Link is in the description box below. Enough of that. Let's get back to fishing. All right, so let me fill you guys in on what we're doing now. So we switched up. We left the bridge we were at previously because we we're not permit fishing anymore. We didn't see any more and we started to run low on crab. So what we did is went over, got some live shrimp and by shrimp, I mean shrimp, like tiny, tiny shrimp. They definitely live up to their name. It's summertime and um, a lot of time in the summer, tackle shops don't get very big shrimp. They run small this time of year till about October and we're just fishing with what we got fishing really small stuff light leader real small hooks or just fun fishing you know we're not trying to catch anything serious um we're just catching little yellow tails yellow jacks okay we are now meat fishing because this catch and cook is gonna happen damn you're crushing the yellow jacks that's our uh ceviche right there I had one on. Pork fish. Pork, 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 pork fish. Maybe the yellow jacks are over here. That's a yellow jack. Or a little mutton. No. That might be a little mutton. It's a yellow jack. There's follower. We got the meats. Best tasting fish, I think, in the Florida Keys, in my opinion, right here. And these things love shrimp. 
and there's no limit on them which is awesome you could keep 100 pounds per person or two fish whichever is greater so this is what we're going to do our catch and cook with and make our ceviche a little ross or ras however you pronounce them lots of little tropical stuff down there all right time to catch some thread fins Oh, and by the way, guys, Chris found this rod on the bridge, the one that we're fishing right here. Hold on. It's a tarpon, I'm pretty sure. Just put tension on it. Hold it up. Walk all the way this way. Jesse, you gotta walk all the way this way. All the way this way. Hold the rod up for tension. Alright guys, as you can see, we are done fishing now. Chris, Jesse, and I pull over to the side of the beach because we got here Wednesday, fished all day, barely slept two hours. We probably smell like death right now. We are very disgusting. We have not showered at all. Our only source of shower cleaning off was this water. Chris is coming up here. We're going to go ahead with the cook portion of this video. Right here, I got a yellow jack. And Chris will tell you, just like anyone else, our yellow jack's really good to eat. They are by far the best. One of the best down here. They seriously are, and they're number one. They're easy to catch. You get a lot of meat on them. There's no size limit. Um, they're an unregulated species, so you could get 100 pounds per person per day. So we are definitely beat. Yeah. We had a very rough last 24 hours Ooh. of fishing, but I'm gonna go ahead and fillet these guys up for you, and we're gonna make ceviche. It's gonna be a good time. So stick around. So a lot of people think that yellow jacks are like Jack Cravels, which they are absolutely not. Yellow Jacks have very white meat, non-fishy, not anything like a Jack Cravel. Um, they look very similar and a lot of people don't know you can eat them, but if you guys ever catch them, they really are good. So don't ever turn your nose away from Yellow Jack. Easy to flay. There's one side already down. Very easy to flay, very easy to skin. Check out what was inside his stomach, guys. It looks like a glass nose or a slippery dick. Um, those like rass looking things that you catch on the bridges. Looking forward to the ceviche. This ceviche is gonna be fire, guys. You guys gotta watch this. We're gonna have ceviche on the side of the road after 48 hours of eating nothing but gas station food and crappy stuff, not sleeping, and we're gonna have a good, fresh meal full of vegetables, so now when I'm making something like ceviche, very important to take the bloodline out because you're basically almost eating your fish raw. The only way your fish is cooking, you're not using any heat. The way your fish is cooking is in the citric acid of the lemon and the lime juice. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss a chunk like this out. Make sure there's no really, um, anything that would be fishy in there. Just really good pieces of fish just like this. If you guys look, yellow jack are actually really pretty fish too. They got a lot of yellow hues to them, a lot of green, those yellow eyeballs, and they got this really sick blue stripe up here. Very pretty fish. So check this out, guys. This is how white the meat of a yellow jack is. People think jack and they automatically think trash fish. This is far from being a trash fish. Jack Cravels, they are, they do have a little bit redder of a meat, but this is a yellow jack, completely different. Very common in the Keys, very common in Miami. We don't have a lot of them up by me where Brooke and I live in the Pompano Beach, Boynton Beach area, but firm, um, non-fishy, really good fish. So I had my flays rinsing off in the salt water. Chris and Jesse are back there on the tailgate. They squeezed a bunch of limes and lemons um, in a big plastic container for us, and I'm gonna do go ahead and cut the actual pieces of fish that's gonna go in our ceviche. You want it to be relatively small. You basically want, for your ceviche, for every fish piece to be a nice, enjoyable piece that you'd want in your mouth. You don't want to be on a chunk and eating a giant chunk of fish. You want to be eating a, a piece of fish that's mixed with all your other vegetables. Nice little proportions, kind of like this. These little cubes, just like that. Nothing too crazy big, you know? Here we got the fresh squeezed lime juice with a couple lemons. So the overall goal is to get the lime juice and the citric acids to cook the shrimp for the ceviche or the fish that we caught here today. Uh, you wanna make sure the fish are in and fully submerged. 
when you do this process, you want to put the fish first before any vegetables. So you want to dunk them in there, make sure you have enough juice. And after you've done all of that, we don't have a fridge here, but we're going to put them in our cooler to get it nice and chilled. That's the process you want to do. Stick it in there for about 30 minutes to an hour. Um, it'll start to turn white when you know that it's cooked. And after that, you're going to chop up your vegetables, your tomatoes, cilantro, which we don't have because we messed up. We left <laughs> we it in the left truck. It baking in the sun. <laughs> Cucumber. And then you just wait for it to cook. You mix it all together. And Pat then these you guys sweet down. Chip. Make sure. Yeah, we can't even add anymore. We actually, we should have gotten more lemon and lime juice. But that's going to be really tasty. Cut up some veggies. We got jalapenos, tomatoes, cucumbers, red onions. And there's one thing I did not know. In traditional Spanish way, teat ceviche, you got to make sure you seed your cucumbers, which I had no idea people even did. But I guess that's the thing. So Jesse's going to show us how his family eats ceviche with some corn tostadas, some cholula, and mayonnaise. I'm going to let him teach you guys how to do that. And we're going to go ahead and enjoy. Oh. We gotta mix this all together too. And put the veggies in with the fish. We'll mix it all together. You're gonna get your tostada, it's usually a nice circle, but it broke. Then you're gonna get your mayonnaise, you're gonna put a nice base layer on there. You're gonna spread it around. Just like this, doesn't have to be pretty. Next, you're gonna get your ceviche. Put a nice healthy serving on there. A little bit of everything, veggies, fish, don't be too stingy. Talk about the clamato. You guys usually put clamato juice on clamato there, Clamato right? juice is a tomato-based juice. Um, you usually mix it in with the lime juice. It'll give it a little bit more flavor, and it won't, it'll actually cut down on the citrus, so it's not too limey or too acidic, which also will give it a nice flavor. The last touch, uh, of course, any Mexican dish needs, <laughs> besides the jalapenos is, some cholulo sauce. Put some on there. Don't be scared. It's not too hot, okay? Good stuff. All right, I want to I want to try this. I want to be a believer in the Mexican way of ceviche. We got mayonnaise as suggested by Jesse, which I had would have never known to put on ceviche. Is that is just a Mexican or is that a Spanish thing too? It's a Spanish thing. Spanish thing. So some mayonnaise on our tostada. Get a nice healthy portion of fish. And then away we go. Don't forget the Cholula. Oh, almost. I'm not scared. There we go. Oh yeah. If you guys want to see land shark fishing go to Mexico, comment below because I'm going. This is good. If the food, if the food is just like this is, I've never had ceviche like this, and it's actually a creative way. Because normally you just eat ceviche with, um, just like with a spoon or fork, but putting on a tostada, the hot sauce, even a little bit of mayonnaise gives it a little bit something extra. It's really good. If you guys want to spice up your ceviche recipe, definitely give this a try. I highly recommend it. It was really good. That's the video guys, hopefully you guys like this and if you guys want to see us go back to the Keys again, please leave a comment below. I had a great time, you guys had a good time? Absolutely, best time of my life. We had good food, caught some fish, good times, couldn't ask for a better trip. And another thing, if you guys want your Land Shark shirts, get your get merch. merch, gotta get the tees. Get the merch, it's in the description box below, what are you guys doing? Don't wait any longer, LandSharkNation.com. Until that next one guys, stay salty and we'll see you out sometime again. Fish Killer Rick, you killing any fish in your dreams there, buddy?